What's up, y'all? It's Daniel Yoshumaye, and as a child growing up in the 80s and the 90s, I do not remember a time when The Simpsons did not exist. I've been a fan of the show since they were on the Tracy Ullman shorts, the Christmas special, and of course, for the almost over 30 or 35 years of continuous seasons showing The Simpsons on Fox. Now, I fully admit that the show has lost its luster over the years, and I know a lot of people say that once you get past season 12, it's a complete waste of time. I disagree. It's not as funny, but it's still entertaining. It's still fun. And I would wager that The Simpsons is the number one thing responsible for my sense of humor to this day. Seriously, you have no idea how much I'm fighting the temptation to litter this video with nothing but Simpsons memes, quotes, and videos. So of course, when Adidas released their ZX10,000 Krusty Burger silhouette and colorway on February 27th, 2021 for 130 US American dollars, that was a must cop, a must grab, a must have for my collection. It has nothing to do with hype. It has nothing to do with comfort. It has nothing to do with looks and everything to do with nostalgia. Like I said, it's been a part of my life for so long. It basically raised me. I was a latchkey kid. My brother and I spout off Simpson quotes daily. Me and my friends do it and I'm certain I drive my wife crazy because everything we talk about, I can always trace back to a Simpsons episode or quote. They say there's always a tweet for that. I say there's always a Simpson quote for that. In Adidas's latest installment of their AZX series, the Three Stripes has partnered with The Simpsons to produce a Krusty Burger ZX10,000. Heavily inspired by the Krusty Burger restaurant, this iteration of the ZX10,000 displays colors and tones representative of the famous cartoon burger. Its brown overlays resemble sesame seed buns, while the cream and pink tones represent Krusty the Clown's face and a section of red on the toe and midsole for Krusty's nose. Green three-stripe branding and chenille on the heel nods to the clown's curly hair, while the Adidas trefoil logo on the heel has been reimagined to look like Krusty's face. Now, when it comes to fit, I'm normally a size nine across the board in Adidas. That's Ultra Boost, that's Air Force One, Jordan Ones in Nike, Puma, New Balance, Asics, etc. Though the whole Yeezy game is completely wrong. So I wear different sizes based on the different silhouettes, but that's neither here nor there. I ordered a size nine for this colorway and I honestly feel that this silhouette fits a little bit big. I think it's a little wide and I think it's a little long and I would feel comfortable ordering half a size down to an eight and a half. I have a normal size foot, closer to a narrower size foot, definitely not wide. So I don't know what to tell you if you have a wide foot or some weird shaped foot or anything like that. All I know is that for me, it was wider and longer than I'm used to and going down half a size probably would have fit me just fine. And as it pertains to comfort, this doesn't have boost. It doesn't have any crazy wild technologies for all the comfort that you see. It's kind of a standard EVA midsole with your gum rubber outsole and it's comfortable. Don't get me wrong. It's not nearly as uncomfortable as what I find an old school rubber outsole like a Jordan one. But if you're expecting boost reactor air, this isn't it. But I feel like for the price point, you're really paying more for the looks. You're paying for the cool little touches, the little chenille, the little suede type stuff, the whole looks of it. That's really where the money for this colorway and silhouette are going. They spent a little bit on comfort, but I really think this is more of a relax by the pool, barbecue, or maybe go to your local hamburger joint and less on flexing on some nerds in downtown or at the mall. Do kids still go to the mall? The Krusty Mall, right? Springfield Mall. They're all Starbucks by now. Can I help you? I'd like to get my ear pierced. Well, better make it quick, kiddo. In five minutes, this place is becoming a Starbucks. Sorry, I'll stop. I'll stop. That was the one. For now. As mentioned, this entire colorway is a nod to Krusty the Clown himself, as well as the Krusty Burger. And I've already mentioned my favorite touch on this entire shoe. It's how they obviously turn the trefoil logo into Krusty the Clown's head. Seriously, look at it. It was already built like it looked like Krusty the Clown. This was the perfect partnership and the perfect use for his hair. I just, I cannot think 
of two logos or two graphics or two things that have nothing to do with each other that actually looked like they meant to go together. It was almost like that fish and light bulb that formed Homer's head. Sorry, that was two. And as for my second favorite touch on the shoe, it has to be that Dubre or that lace tag that you find at the bottom of the laces near the toe box. Now this shoe does come pre-laced with white laces that also have the yellow aglets or lace tips. And it has a different set of Dubrays that come on it. As you can see, they give you four sets. You have like a red, you have a blue. So you can see the blue, there we go. And then you have the green, the turquoise, all closely matching colors on Krusty the Clown. But they also send what I consider to be the best Dubre, and I don't know why it doesn't come stock on the shoe. It's an actual Krusty the Clown Dubre. It's got his head, he's smiling, he's got his arms wide open holding a Krusty Burger, and the lace goes right over it. And on top of that, if you center your laces right, you see the Adidas running logo. Is it the running logo? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I always mess up what each logo means. Bring back Sheriff Lobo. 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 Bring back Sheriff Lobo! 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 Ah! That's three. And while I realized that the flat black laces that I ended up using are a little darker, maybe it brings up more fall and winter, I don't care. I know white tends to be more summery in spring, but to me the black laces look way better on the shoe, and so that's why I put them on there, and I think it's great. I think it's fun. This is arguably the most fun shoe I have in my collection because it's supposed to be fun, right? It's a clown hawking a burger. It's a cartoon clown hawking a cartoon burger. It's not Ronald McDonald, it's Krusty the Clown. McDonald's may have the Hamburglar, but Krusty's got, well, you guessed it, the Krusty Burglar. It's the Krusty Burglar! Oh my god, he's stealing all the burgers! Why, you little... I got you! Oh, okay. it's, all, it's all just, just an act. Krusty the Clown, everybody. Please look at my medical bracelet. Yeah, four, I know, I know. And finally, a touch that you really won't see unless you, well, pull it out of the shoe is the insole, which is in the iconic yellow Simpsons colorway, where you see the Krusty Burger logo and graphic, as well as the Adidas and Simpsons logo and branding. Not only do I think this is one of the most fun colorways I have, it's one of the most nostalgic. I love The Simpsons. I grew up on The Simpsons the way some people feel about South Park and Family Guy and Rick and Morty. That's the way I feel about The Simpsons. No, I'm not old enough to feel that way about The Flintstones. I did watch The Jetsons. I watched them all on reruns. I watched The Simpsons the minute they came out. And I realized that this shoe is probably ugly to a lot of you out there that don't really have that nostalgic feeling for The Simpsons or Krusty the Clown. That's fine. Maybe you don't like the blue hair you find on the shoe. What the? That's terrible. Cartoons have the power to make us laugh and to make us cry. Wouldn't you agree, Krusty? First of all, my hair is green, not blue. I got nothing to work with here. Nothing. Uh... Alright, five. That's enough. We'll, we'll stop it there. Green hair. I knew it. I did it for the joke. But if you love The Simpsons like me, or you just love crazy, outlandish, funny-looking shoes, well, get these. They're almost like clown shoes, because they're made for a clown. Hawking a burger. On a cartoon show. Let us know in the comment section down below what you think about the Adidas ZX10,000 Krusty Burger. And hey, why don't you let me know, if you have one, your favorite Simpsons moment, favorite Simpsons episode, or maybe favorite Simpsons quote. Let's turn it into a Simpsons appreciation comment section. Yeah, I realize some of you are going to say Simpsons died, Simpsons is over, nobody watches Simpsons anymore. Just replace it with Boost is dead, nobody buys Boost, Yeezy's canceled, whatever. Let's talk about the Simpsons in the comment section down below and maybe make it a little shoe based. You know, I mean, the Simpsons like shoes, right? They introduced us to the world of the assassin. <gasps> With assassins! Oh, you betcha. Uh, you know, they got the Velcro straps, a water Ooh. pump in the tongue, built-in wow. pedometer, reflective <gasps> sidewalls, and Whoa. little vanity license plates. Ooh, ooh. How much, how much, how much? Well, you know, they're not giving them away. <laughs> but sometimes you've just got to spoil yourself. Yeah. All right, that was six. We'll, we'll cut it there. Let us know in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.